Therefore, the diagram on the right shows a shaded region which satisfies a rule constraint of a situation. A. By using suitable value of K, draw the line on the graph. So, we see suitable value of K if you see from your textbook. So, we have K is equal to X plus 2Y. So, if you see from your textbook, we have AX plus BY is equal to K. So, use K as a common multiple. So, what does it mean by common multiple? So, basically this one. So, the in front of X is 1, right? So, common multiple is 1, 2, 3, 4 because 1. 2 times 1, 3 times 1, 4 times 1. And this one we have 2, right? Common multiple is 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 4 is 8. So this is the multi multiple of 1 and 2, right? So use the common multiple, but in your textbook is using 4. So we can also use 4 because this is 1 and 2, right? So if k is equal to 4, x plus 2y. So now how to draw a line? So, we know that to draw a line, y is equal to mx plus c. So, here we have 2y is equal to negative x plus 4. Why? We make negative 4 because we want to make it into y is equal to mx plus c. So, y is equal to, now we divide with 2, so it's negative half x. So, 4 divided with 2 is plus 2. So, this is the line that we wanted to make. So, we know to create a line, we need two points. Right. So, firstly, we can make it when x is equal to 0. So, here when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 2. Okay. So, another point when, you see here when y is equal to 0, 0 is equal to negative half x plus 2. So, here half x is equal to 2, x is equal to 4. So, we have two points here. So here you get this one is 0, 2 and 0, 2 and 0, 2 and this one is 4, 0. So if you see here the line is quite small, right? This one. If you use a larger one, this one, if you use like 8, maybe you can get a larger point. Yes, I am. So if I choose 8, then 8 is equal to x plus 2y, right? So here 2y is equal to negative x plus 8, y is equal to negative half x plus 4. So here when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 4. When y is equal to 0, 0 is equal to negative half x plus 4, half x is equal to 4, x is equal to 8. Two point which is zero four and here we have eight zero which which you can see the gap is so you see here zero four so here zero four four is here and then you have eight zero so this one is five so eight is four before ten which is here. So, this line just now is the line that we found which is 8 is equal to x plus 2y. So, now B on the same graph, draw a straight line parallel to the line this one obtained by A to pass through each of the vertices of the region. <coughs> nyam, nyam, nyam. So this one parallel how to do it just use your ruler so this one is a straight line make sure you make a line parallel to this one so just move the ruler move it towards here move it towards here and move it the ruler towards here and make sure it is this way so just put a ruler move here caris move here caris move here you make a line all right then you see here, pass through each of the vertices of the region. So, passing 1, 2, 3. C, 
find the maximum value of x plus 2y. So, x plus 2y is the line that we draw just now, right? K is equal to x plus 2y. So, we see here maximum and minimum from the graph we see here. So, the maximum point, we can see that it is here. So, this point is 0, 30. And minimum point, this one, we have 1, 2, 3, right? So, this one, another vertices, which is 4. So, this one is basically, all this one is the same one. So, the minimum point you can see is here, right? So, here this one, this point is 10. This one is 10. You see here? 10 and 5. So, I, so the maximum value so we have x plus 2 why we can see that this one is the maximum point and this one right so we see here in some cases the most upper and the most lowest is not the value so you should see sometimes you should treat you should try other point to see if you will get the minimum value so in this case this one and this one so 0 30 you see here we have 0 30 is the maximum so we have x plus 2y which is equal to 0 plus 2 30 so here we have 60 so here the minimum value so x plus 2y is equal to so the minimum point you see here it is 10 and 5 right so this one x is 10 this one is x this one is y so x is 10 plus 2y y is 5 so here we get 20 so 20 is the minimum value and this one is the maximum value